Hey guys, it's me, Zach, from Pro Play Games, and I'm back here with another video. Um, this video is going to be on the deck that I played at my League Cup to a top four finish. So I've been experimenting with Buzzwell for the past, I'd say, two months or so, and I ended up uh, getting onto the Buzzwell Lycanroc hype train a little bit early. So I've been playtesting and playtesting it. So I took it to a cup, uh, I think the weekend before uh, the Memphis Regionals that's just passing right now as I'm creating this video. <clears throat> So uh, I'll go over the deck and uh, here we go. So we have uh, three Buzzwells. It's really strong. It's very similar to Lander's EX. Um, Jet Punch is good for doing 30 and 30 to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Knuckle Impact is good for just getting a big knockout and uh, Absorption GX is really good for getting one big knockout because it's a GX attack. Um, the goal of this deck is to really power it up with uh, multiple things such as Choice Band, Strong Energy, and uh, Regiraki X's ability. Um, the biggest issue with this card is it's uh, Psychic right there, right there, wherever it is. It's uh, Psychic Weakness because Garbodor was presumed big when this deck was kind of created. So we play uh, <clears throat> Lycanroc GX to take care of that with its Grass type weakness. Lycanroc's really good for bringing up Pokemon, getting a big attack off with his Dangerous Rogue, or using its Claw Slash to knock out things like Tapu Lele and stuff like that. Um, it has to evolve from something, and we have these Rock Rough promos. Um, well, I guess the Trainer Kit one, not the promo, but it's really strong. I like that Tackle can uh, knock out a Zerua with a strong energy. Uh, it's much better than the one with Corner. I think if you were to play four in a deck, like any deck, you might want to play one of the corner ones, or if you're trying to play a deck that would lock it, you might play the corner ones. But if you have strong energy, I think this run is way better right now. Um, in this deck, we have Octillery, because we play Brooklet Hill, so it's really good for just getting things set up. You can get a Remoraid, you can get a Buzzwill, you can get any Pokemon in your deck for the most part. So it's really good for draw power. Um, Regirock, with its ability Regipower, can do another additional 10 damage. And uh, that's really all you needed to start doing some big numbers with Buzzwool. Um, Pseudo Widows, a card that I pretty much added into this deck um, because it can copy your opponent's attacks better than what you start off with. So if your opponent's doing an attack with, well, they don't have strong energies, they don't have Choice Band, they might not have Regirock, well, our Watch and Learn is going to be doing a lot more damage than their original attack. And we could also Guzma that attack or Bloodthirsty's Eyes with a Lycanroc up one of their Pokemon to do that attack to a different Pokemon. And we play one Lele here. Um, we have the setup between Brooklet Hill, it's a basic deck. I didn't really want too much search because we don't need it. So as explained earlier, we have Brooklet Hills, I play three of them. We could search out what we want. Sycamores are pretty common in most decks. Um, so we're just gonna use it to draw some cards. Don't be too discard, or try not to discard too many cards with Professor Sycamore. Um, you want to make sure that you're playing your cards in the correct order. Um, similarly, we play 4N. We want to make sure that if we don't want to discard things, we could shuffle them away or shuffle our opponent uh, down to a single card when they have one prize card left. As much as we already play the two Lycanrocs, three Guzmas seems like a good number here. We want to take our knockouts when we want to take them, and Guzma allows us to get there. And I play one Acerola. Just really like to counter Mewtwo from Evolutions. You, they might do, so you could have a single energy doing Jet Punch and you want to kind of two shot them there and then Ace Rolla back to lift it back up. So that's really where this card's going to come in, but you'll find opportunities to like heal something or maybe they did minor damage to a Lycanroc and you get another, another Bloodthirsty's Eyes off. Um, so Ace Rolla is just a good like clutch one of in this deck. Play four Ultra Balls, which is fairly common so every deck's playing four ultra balls four max elixirs so we could pack uh so we could power up our knuckle impact and our absorption gx very quickly got the three choice bands like i said we want to power up our attacks to do more and more damage and three float stones it's weird to kind of see three float stones in a deck like this until you realize that lycanroc buzzwell octillery Regirock, Pseudo Widow, they all have really bad retreat costs, so you need to find a way. And that's also why we play a few more Guzmas than, uh, than we normally would have. Um, Rescue Stretcher, we want to get some Pokemon back. I might change this for a Super Rod going forward. I'm not too sure about that. 
But uh, as of right now, it's kind of good just to get back an Octillery or a Lycanroc. And a Field Blower, we don't have like a crazy amount of abilities. Well, we kind of do, but uh, Garbodor is not really played at this moment. So this might change to two. So we play <clears throat> nine Fighting Energies, and that's really for Max Elixir. Um, most Max Elixir decks play nine. That's kind of the community tried and true number that allows you to get as many off. So make sure that you're attaching those wisely and not discarding them so you can get more off. And then four strong energies, powering up our fighting Pokemon in our deck. So we have enough energies to power up our attacks, get them built up quickly, and then do some buzzwell things. Just knocking out Pokemon, chipping off damage, Guzma, Bloodthirsty Eyes, big knockouts or tiny little chip damage that can lead to big knockouts. The deck's really strong and really quick. Took me to top four at the League Cup. Um, I lost to two, two drop. Uh, two uh, kind of rough hands, but that's okay. You can't win every single game. So I appreciate everything uh, All the opportunities that I've had from the sponsorship Thank you so much for watching this video and feel free to follow me on my Twitter at Zed Lesage underscore Pokemon on Twitter. Thank you so much. Bye And this is the PTCGO screenshot so you can see my deck in full. Thank you so much